Okay, so we're doing a retro magazine collage. I love doing these. This is January 1987. So the 80s are my jam. And I know I'm going to love this one. All right, so big uh, black and white eyes. I feel good about this already. All right, who is that? That's Lynn... Jennifer O'Neill. Nope, that was nobody I even thought it was. 87. This is three years after I graduated from high school. So I would have been living in Sharon, Pennsylvania. It's on the border of, it actually sits, so Sharon, here's Ohio. This is Pennsylvania. This is Ohio. It's upside, no, it's right side up for you. And then halfway down the state, this is Sharon and this is Majory. And I lived in both Sharon and Majory, so I lived in Ohio and Pennsylvania. It was very fun living on the edge of a state. I enjoyed that. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, that's fun. That's kind of fun. All right. Virginia Slims. Hairspray. I'm starting to re recognize the Virginia Slims. Uh, did we do that? I don't think we did this one. If we did this one, I don't care because each time you pick a different... Um, oh, we might have done this one. I might have used David Letterman's doggies one time. So the thing is, each time you go through, you're at a different place. And you're starting with a different idea, right? So I kind of love this lady's body. I think I'm going to use, I'm going to put a pin in her body. And so that would make an entirely different person. Ooh, fun. I don't think I've seen that. Okay. But even if we were using the same one, don't feel like you have to get new magazines all the time because you don't. You can just use the same ones and just go through and do a different one. Right? Right. All right. Bikinis for 29 I feel like bikinis still cost the same amount. Those do not look like real people. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I kind of like that pile of books. That would be fun. Like you could outline those really easy and make them a feature with the paint pens. I wouldn't use them like they are, they aren't cute enough. I made, okay, so it's um, admission time. I have sewed one item in my life. Well, no, I made some, um, Yep, I did do this one. I made some um, napkins, but actually sewing a whole project I in home ec, when you used to have to take home ec, which I wish they did now, we had to sew an item, and they never told me that you have to tie off the ends of, like when you sew, you sew, and then you cut off the things, and then you sew, and you cut off the things. They didn't mention either going back and forth over the end or tying them. So I got this whole dress done just in that like pretty flowery fabric kind of stuff. And when I got done, it all fell apart. <laughs> you had to wash it to like get your grade. And uh, I washed it and it all fell apart. Okay, we're gonna use this as some border stuff because that's going to be a very cool looking border. Okay, there we go. The bangles, I love the bangles. This is not very, God, that looks terrible. That food looks terrible. <gasps> Look at her, is she fabulous? I love her. Wow. 
Okay, here we go. I love casinos. I miss going to casinos. Okay, this is fun. Oh, do we feel like we could do like a little illustrated side piece? I think we might. A little fun side cutout thingy Bobby. Oh, I love her hair. My hair will do that. Okay. Yep, I remember this. Yay, yes. So now I need to find a good size head to go with, it's a very odd pose, to go with um, those big eyes. Those big eyes. Okay. Oh, I like the color of these pages. Men who hate women and the women who love them. You mean narcissists? Yes, yes. Okay. What is going on? Oh, there's some more people. Oh, I love her. Oh, I'm going to take her out. Okay, okay. All right, we need a bigger face. Ooh. Ooh, there's a little, little guy. I feel like our sidebar is gonna be very cute and fun with lots of friends. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my. And yes, I did have the shoes, the leg warmers, the tights, the leotard, the under leotard. Okay, so this is our girl that we're going to, I'm just going to pick her because I'm going to use her. I'm going to use that one lady's eyes. Oh, I love her. She's from Adventures in Babysitting, I think. So her head is big enough. It would be hard because it's a sideways one. And I'm not advanced yet. I've only been doing this a couple years. <laughs> yes, I'm playing the beginner card again. Okay. Well, now, hold on. Hold the phone. Where'd that lady with the big eyes go? She's in the very front, isn't she? Oh, I like those eyes. In the very front page? What if... Okay, I'm going to do this. We are going to take her eyes and put them in this helmet somehow. Okay, so we have her eyes, this helmet. Okay. This body, we got lots of fun side pieces this time. Little people, little people, side people, some things. Oh, this one could be fun. All right, I am going to, oh, hold on, we got a pin in there. Where's the pin? Why did I have a pin in there? Maybe because I became distracted. Oh, I was thinking I could maybe use her head. Okay, so I am going to cut these out and I will be back. Okay, I just started the thing and Wally said he had to go potty. So you missed it this time. But I'm doing the 1987 Cosmo in the um, Dilutions Classics Journal. And we're gonna see what pages we wanna use. So I have an older 
one. Let's see. An older lady. What's her body? Is this black body? So I don't think we could do a black page. I know that we did that, but we have lots of color behind there. Let's see. We could do it besides. I'm working on a um, in style, in style current. Would that look good with this one? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's see. All right, we got some back here. Oh, we got two Helen Mirrens. We could do this one on craft. Some of this has a little crafty look. I think this would be fun. Okay, let's do craft, you guys. Okay, so let me show you what we have. We have a kind of a ton of fun side pieces. <laughs> like, I was really excited by that. And then I'm going to put this off to the side. Um, and then we have this girl with this helmet is the main part of this. But we have lots of friends, and we have lots of um, side stuff. So let's start this out by just... Um, I wasn't sure what we were going to do, so I didn't tear this all up. But it feels to me like we're going to be doing a... Um, just a green border around, right? That could be fun. Get some good pieces. I feel like that's a really good piece. Ooh, cocktails! We're going to have to use the cocktails. I like some cocktails. Okay, right there. And then we've got some more pieces. I don't necessarily... Oh, look, there's a dude. A dude having a... Co it's a date. There's people on a date. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late. I'm, I'm late. Okay. And I like this part. Oh, we got plenty. Okay, so we have this to go here, and we could do a little bit of her head to make a skinny part there. Here, we got enough for a couple skinny parts, and then I don't have to use just a big old man head. There we go, and there we go. That's how I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to do that, and I will be back. Okay, so I'm just finishing up this border. Boop, boop, boop. Last piece. There we go. And now we have to decide, do we want to paint some of this back? Do we want to do, like, how much of the back are you going to see? I kind of love that this is um, kind of, you know, red and green for Christmas. And then, don't forget, so... I can use as much or as little of this head as we want, right? So we could do this part to here. We could cut off the round top part. Oh, you know what? I am going to cut off the round top part because we got to make this smaller. But we could use it somewhere else in the piece to pull the or to pull the red around, right? Okay, so that's going to be fun. We're going to use this. Maybe down here, underneath her. But first we have to figure out this girl's eyes. So we could just put her eyes in like that, or we can, which I kind of think I want to do. I, I mean, this is crazy enough as it is. I think I want to color them, but I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put her eyes in there, and then I'm gonna color them with paint and um, Indie ink. So I'm just gonna glue right around her eyes to start and give it a wee minute to dry. We'll keep her eyebrows in there. There we go. Let's stick that down. Oh. 
that flat? Okay, that's flat. Because we have to cut some of this off, and it was kind of hard to cut off without knowing how much we needed, right? So we can cut this part off easily. Now that's not sticking out. Let's come down here, cut this part off. Because this lady behind was so big that she was hard to manage. Um, I kind of like that she looks a little bit like uh, Iron Man. Okay, so we don't need any of this part of her face to add bulk. And we do not need any of this part of her face to add bulk. As you can tell, my collage book is getting a little fat. Okay, there we go. So now she is more in shape. Ooh, I could make her suit and stuff, paint her suit and stuff a like a superhero, right? How fun would that be? I took a course from Diane Reevely in how to paint the collages. That's that one uh, journal I have with all the painted collages. Um, that was a really fun class to take. All right, so let's figure out how she's going to go. I don't think we're going to get her whole um, shoes and everything. Well, maybe we could. I kind of think she's sort of a feature, right? So if we do that and we get as much of her as we can, right? Okay, now we have to figure out what are we going to do with the rest of this. I kind of feel like this would make a good bottom piece down here to kind of balance that and make maybe her pants blue and her jacket red and oh, I don't know I don't know if that's going to take away from her now I don't know if I want to use that because I have all these guys too hold on maybe this will help you because I didn't really show you these guys but they're wicked cute so I have a whole bunch of people over here right we could put them over in this corner. I have this guy. I have some stripey bits, and then I have this fashion lady. Okay, so let's think about this. Oh, I kind of oh, I I love those guys up there. So these guys are going to be up here at the top of the collage. And I, I, if you're thinking to yourself that you do not understand how those go with um, Iron Man and a lady in a helmet, you are so right. None of collage makes sense. Like there, I have ones where there's people that are, um, uh, 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 I have collages where there's people that are um, like animals that are have teacup bodies. Collages for fun. You're supposed to have fun with it. Oh, I kind of love that. Okay, so, so that's fun up there. Let's see, where's our girl? She's gonna be right here, kind of like this. I think she's, oh, she's right there. That's perfect for her kind of fill in that empty spot. Oh my goodness, this is turning out amazing. And I was worried I should stop worrying. Every time I worry that there's not enough stuff or it's gonna look stupid or I'm gonna hate it, it never does and I always do. Um, and I hardly ever have these kind of little friends, you know, happy little side friends. I'll have friends, but usually they're dogs. But these are happy little comic side friends. And he can fill in that little spot right there. Okay, now we have a decision because there is some of this stuff that we could put around, but I feel like that would be super distracting. I, f I feel like these little friends all sort of feel like they go where they went 
But to put just random border in there, I don't see that. And I haven't loved... So I feel like we can either paint on craft or we can... Um, I haven't loved doing backgrounds on craft. Hold on. Like this, where I painted this craft, is okay. I painted this whole craft, so why use craft paper then? Oh, I guess I didn't use craft. Um, but there's one up here that I... Is it? Nope, it's not her. But there's one up here where, like, I just don't like... Oh, well, I don't mind that look. I could use a little Vicky... That's a Vicky Booten stencil. Do we want a little stencil behind there? Or I could just draw those. I could just draw those. I think if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to just draw it in the back there. I'm not going to make it a real thing. All right, so let's stick her head onto here. Well, I guess this is a very two-piece one. Let's just stick her down rather than going through all that. Oh, we had got her little heel. Great. If you got it, glue it. All right, this is going to be a super fun one to doodle. And sometimes people ask why I don't doodle them all with you. Well, usually it takes a couple hours, so that wouldn't be the most fun. Um, I have some videos where I just doodle with you. And last but not least, this is actually my journal that I love doing. And I have so much fun sitting and doodling at night and watching TV that, that even though I love you, spending a couple hours doodling with you would be a little much, right? I, my voice would run out and just be a whole mess. So I am going to doodle this tonight. And when I'm done, I will be back. Okay, so this is our Cosmo, uh, 19, January 1987. And things I did. I did, I mean, like, this took forever last night. I know it may not look like I did a lot, but um, this kind of took forever. I did paint around to finish this out because there was a hand there. I painted this in red paint. I did her eyebrows and her eyeballs and her eyelashes. I outlined everything. So what we're going to do today is we are going to go around with a pit pen and put a border around this so that we know that this is the most... Oh, I doodled these flowers. Aren't those cute? Um... We are going to go around this, and then we're going to do white dot dash to make her pop out. So, that is how we're going to finish her off today. And I think she's interesting. I don't, I, this would definitely not be like in my top 10 of, I love this one so much. I mean, there's no cat sitting on a... Um, polar bear, right? Like there's nothing super, super exciting about this piece, except that, you know, like the helmet eyes and I think that's fun. But I don't know that I would say that I think this is amazing. I think this is a good piece that I learned something else on, right? Like I learned, um, that I don't like using, uh, I use this Sharpie, and Sharpies have an oil-based paint, or an oil-based color, and I don't like how it made it shiny, I don't like, I don't like anything about it, I like the, the Posca pens, how matte they are, um, so I will not be using Sharpies in my magazine collage anymore. I was trying them to see if I could give you guys a cheaper alternative, um, but I really disliked how they turned out. Um, overall, the piece, I like how it turned out. I love my little people. I think they turned out cute. I outlined them so they were a little highlighted. I think they incorporate really well into the background. Um, and are there a million more things I could do on this piece? Yes, probably. 
but I was just looking through my book and no, I won't look through it with you right now. And it was fun because on almost every piece, I thought, oh, I could add this here. Or, oh, I've learned this new technique since I did this piece and I should go back and do it. So I am gonna go back and update some of my old ones in a video. Um, not one coming up right this minute, so don't don't get all excited. But I think that we think that we have to finish everything perfectly. And I think part of the fun of this is that we can come back in later and and add things we don't know right now, right? So I'm taking a gel plate class. I might learn something in that. I'm taking a um I'm I'm starting a new journal that's a whimsy journal where I'm going to be making some more of the things and maybe I'll learn something from that. Um, there's just a lot of, maybe I'll buy a new magazine that has something super different in it that I never thought of using in that way, right? So this is going to be it for this today. I almost wonder, do I, maybe not. One more thing. <laughs> I just can't stop. Okay, so now I have a quan. Okay, I know what my quandary is. I was going to say I was going to outline the, the craft in black, but I think that'll be very harsh because the craft is brown. I'm going to go along just this little inside edge, not around him because he's not the edge, but around here because that is the edge. And just kind of give this a little bit of, that's not the edge, this is the edge. Just kind of give this edge a little bit of definition so that you know that that's the edge of the piece. I like this. I think this is fun. Well, hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.